rocketing into space. When James A. Lovell Jr. was a boy, when James A. Lovell Jr. was a boy, he loved to build rockets and launch them into the sky. But his dreams went a lot farther than his rockets. Like many boys who grew up in the 1930s, James dreamed of being a pilot. And as he watched his rockets soar, he knew someday he would too. High Flying Dreams James was born in Cleveland, Ohio in 1928. He worked hard in school and planned to go to a special college to study astronomy and rockets. Unfortunately, he didn't have enough money to attend. James had to figure out another way to reach his goal. James was motivated to find a way to fly rockets. So, he went to college near his home for two years and then signed up for flight training at the United States Naval Academy. After four years at the academy, James joined the United States Navy and became a professional naval test pilot. His job was to fly planes before anyone else was allowed to fly them. Caption James A. Lovell Jr. became an astronaut in 1962. He flew four space Pilot to Astronaut As a pilot, James spent more than half of his flying time in jets. He taught other pilots how to fly. He also worked as a specialist in air flight safety. Soon, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA, put out a call for astronauts. James applied for the job because he had all the essential skills needed to fly into space. As a result, NASA chose him. By 1962, James Lovell was an astronaut. He had finally reached his goal. Big Challenges James flew on three space missions, and then in April 1970, he became commander of the Apollo 13 mission. This was a big responsibility and a great honor. This was also one of the biggest challenges of James's life. Apollo 13 was supposed to land on the moon. Two days after leaving Earth, however, the spacecraft had a serious problem. One of its oxygen tanks exploded. The crew did not have enough power or air to breathe. They could not make it to the moon. James communicated with the experts at NASA. No one knew what to do at first. Then the team on the ground did some research and came up with a solution. The astronauts followed the team's directions and built an invention using plastic bags, cardboard, and tape. It worked. It cleaned the air in the spacecraft. But the next problem was even bigger. How were the astronauts going to get back to Earth? Caption. NASA's team works to solve Apollo 13's problem. A job well done. The NASA team decided the astronauts would use the lunar or moon module as a lifeboat. James and the other two astronauts climbed into the smaller spacecraft and shut the hatch tight. They moved away from the main spaceship. With little power, water, food, or heat, the astronauts listened carefully to the team at NASA. The trip back to Earth was dangerous and scary. For almost four days, the astronauts traveled in the cramped capsule. They were cold, thirsty, and hungry. Then, with millions of people watching on television, the module fell to Earth. Years later, James Lovell said that Apollo 13 taught him how important it was for people to work together. His favorite memory was when the capsule splashed down in the Pacific Ocean and he knew they were safe. Sidebar. A dream come true. Did you ever dream of going into space? Check out Space Camp. Space camps have been around for more than 30 years. They make science, math, and technology exciting so kids will want to learn more. And, like the NASA training programs, these camps teach the importance of teamwork and leadership. Caption The Apollo 13 crew splashed down safely on April 17, 1970.